I was just checking to see if you guys are awake. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Macomb Music Theater in Mount Clemens. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Are you guys ready to see a night of fights? Put your hands together and make some noise. A big thank you to all the sponsors who jumped on board once again. PatinoDiet.com, Aaron'sTire.com, and Triple X Cage Fighting. We are broadcasting live on CageFightingLive.com, so you could tweet, text, Facebook, and tell them CageFightingLive.com. Also, a special thank you to Cave Radio Broadcasting here doing the fight tonight as well. We have 13 fights for you tonight, including two vicious title fights. Those will be five five-minute rounds, and these guys have come prepared and ready to take down the other guys, so we're excited for that. We're gonna kick things off with some amateur fights and let you see the hot prospects coming up in some of the best MMA around Michigan right now. First up, we're gonna get moving right along. This will be three three-minute rounds, and we wanna welcome to the cage, put your hands together for Ali! Good evening, fight fans. Welcome to downtown Mount Clemens. Triple X Cage fighting legends for another production of the Legends series continues. We're getting started here with the undercard. A couple of amateur fights of up and comers here in the Detroit area. One of the nice things if you've been following us over the years is that the guys that start as amateurs in the TXC cage and go on to have success there tend to do very well in the pro ranks and you'll be able to say you saw them when because you're tuning in right now. Ali Saad making his way to the cage. Not a lot of information on this young man. Just getting started in the mixed martial arts game. A little bit of a martial arts background. While we're waiting for Ali to make his way into the cage, I want to thank everyone watching us all over the world, all the way out in Albania, Japan. Of the best song ever. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Put your hands together for Josh Buckner. Our men and women in the armed forces all over the Middle East and Europe tuning in to watch us tonight. Folks all over the continental United States. All the way out in Iowa tuning in to watch a fighter who's made his way out here pro fight. Josh Bruckner making his way to the cage right now. 1-0 as an amateur fighter. Fighting out of Fuse Martial Arts. Big Don Richard, longtime staple, elder statesman and legend in his own right in the Midwest. And on a national level as a grappler, Don's got multiple national titles as a grappler. Extensive MMA career as a professional, all the way back to when it was still considered no holes barred. Plenty of conversations with him about what it would have been like to have been born 10 years later and what he could have done in a structured mixed martial arts environment. I think we all would have liked to have seen that. Josh Bruckner now getting greased up and getting ready to get in the cage. Some people say the second fight's the hardest because the first one you don't realize how hard getting hit is gonna hurt. Into the cage, Kara Kaoro. All right, fight fans, here we go. This fight is brought to you by PatinoDiet.com and your referee in charge is Vance Swearden. To my left, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed 164 pounds, stands five foot, 10 inches tall. He is making his debut in the cage tonight, representing Michigan top team. Once again, put your hands together for Ali Saad. And to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed 163 pounds, he stands six feet tall and comes to us with an undefeated record of one win, no losses. 
He is trained by Don Richard out of Fuse MMA. Put your hands together for Josh Buckler. Fight fans, the harder you cheer, the harder they fight. All right, fight fans, about to get this fight underway. When we get started, Ali Saad fighting out of the red corner in the white compression shorts. If you get confused, his shorts have his name on them. And Josh Bruckner fighting out of the blue corner in the camo compression shorts. Quick tap of the gloves. Ali Saad quickly trying to set up in the center of the cage. You know, really flat-footed. He's got to watch those hands. I mean, that just smells knockout when you have your hands down like that, especially when you don't have that much experience. Again, oh, it, nice it axe almost, kick, though. Yeah, nice axe kick. Quickly well, gets I, taken down for his trouble. I, and we see that a lot with some of the karate guys. You know, you see the hands down, and then all of a sudden that high kick comes. Well, he's in a little trouble now. He's holding on to that headlock a little too long. He needs to be trying to get a leg through. Here he comes with the leg. Sort of pinned up right in his own corner, though, so at least there's that. But Josh Bruckner doing a good job of trying to clear that leg at this point. Well, which is no surprise. Jo uh, Josh trained by Don Richard, you know, focus on ground game. So he's going to know what he's doing down there. Now looking for a perfect side control there. Going to get nice and tight. Neon belly going to drive right across. Textbook got to be careful with his head down like that. He, he could set himself up for a sweep. He's got to be careful to the, the sweep is actually to the left there, Kara. Going to the right, nothing there. And looking to drop some leather. They've got to, you know, change things up. No elbows here because it's the amateurs. Ali Saad in a little trouble. He needs to try to get those knees down. Oh, he's given up here. He's trying to go to his he, belly at this point. I think he just banked on those kicks being devastating, but then not having any defense after gave Josh the upper hand. Got to be careful. He's leaving that arm oh, out. Oh, did he Put ever leave it out? On. And that is a sloppy arm lock, Kara. You well, know, now it's going on tight, but Ali needs to keep turning into this. And Josh, and Ali is looking like he's trying to put up with too much pain. I don't want to see well, a big see injury how, there. See how the knees aren't pinched together and the heels are away from the side of the body? That's giving Ali just enough room to turn through, and that's exactly what happened. And Josh, Josh able to stay on top, but could have lost position because of that, too. Well, he's posting up nicely if he can let some go here. Because I don't think that Ali is ready for any of this. No, Brown instead of going for a submission, just keep the volume up. And Vance Swerden going to have to put an end to this. Quickly going belly down, though. Ali Saad now the universal sign for please stop punching me in the head. Well, this is a, a great fight for Ali in that, you know, he thought that his kicks were so beautiful, which he was. You can tell he's talented in that, but you really have to work on your ground game as well. And you have to, you know, he's karate done. guys tend to lazily throw those kicks out. But they also don't play defense after. They throw them out and they stand there expecting to do damage. You can't just think that one kick is going to be the knockout kick. Josh Bruckner making easy work, a first round victory over Ali Saad. Ali's first journey into the cage, leaving with a loss. Got a lot to work on though. Oh, uh, what's going on, Kara? Well, I, I think they had to take a quick break. I don't know if it was back of the head, but Ali Saad is motioning to his corner. I don't want any more. My arm is out. So I think what he, you know, the corner is going to stop the fight anyways. Well, if that's what's going to happen, they need to do it now. Well, I know because, I, I mean, Ali told his corner, I'm done. My elbow is, is out, so... I, I thought Vance was actually stopping the I'm not the sure. Fight. I think the doctor had to come in and take a look at maybe the cut. We're seeing a lot of blood over the eye of Ali Saad. If it's impairing his vision, obviously they have to stop the fight. But I don't think this is going much longer because the heart has been taken out of Ali Saad. Well, now's you know, his once, opportunity because the doctor's going to ask him, can you continue? Yeah, and he's telling him right now his yeah. arm. You know, he did look like that arm was bent over. He looked like Gumby for a second with the, the way it was bending backwards. And then, again, what Josh can take away from this is cleaning up that arm bar. Because if someone gives you, rarely do people give you an opportunity to get an arm bar off. Not like you that, make that's sure, for sure, right, absolutely. You want to make sure you can finish that up. I think that's one of the first moves I learned. That's one of the, the one first and only. moves everybody learns. <laughs> right, or rear naked. Everyone does that in the yeah. playground, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ali's done with that elbow. Now, I think you called it when you said Ali was done with his heart. But he's got, a, he's got a lot he can take out of this fight and come back stronger. Josh Bruckner moving to 2-0. Making easy work in the first round here.
Josh's corner giving him the gas a little bit. Let him know that he did all the work before he got in the cage so he didn't have to do it in the cage. And that's absolutely Let's correct. Let's hear from Oakley's Fighters Fight Fans. Your winner with two minutes and 25 seconds in the first round, referee stoppage, TKO. Put your hands together for now, 2-0, Josh Buckner. All right, first fight of this undercard on the books. Josh Bruckner moving to 2-0. Don Richard smiling like a proud papa over there. <laughs>